Comedy and ridicule are important in holding our political class accountable, and humor is essential to the overall well-being. Unlike in Russia, it's still legal to make fun of our politicians here in America. We must preserve that right. It's so important. It really is what separates us from so much of the rest of the world. Our next guest has an incredible Trump impression and many other impressions on the internet. Joining us is Sean Farish, or as he's better known, Captain Deplorable Online. Surely you've seen his Trump impression. His videos go insanely viral. Thank you, Sean, for joining us. Thank you so much, Benny. And thanks for, for being one of the folks who can constantly shares the content. You know, my phone starts melting and I know when it starts to get warm, I, Benny must have shared it again on Instagram. I scroll up and there it is. So I really appreciate it. Thanks so much for having me. The ability to make fun of a political leader is a treasured right that we have here in this country. It is a right. It's a right. It's a right to have comedy, humor, and it's actually important to ridicule your political class. Where did you come up with these impressions? Are you a comedian at heart or have you been doing impressions for a long time? Well, I've always been kind of silly. Um, you know, I, I've, I'm a radio guy, radio major in college. I did a lot of uh, voice work for my classmates in, in the college class, any type of accents and things like that that I would do. I'm from New York, so it kind of helps. But I was bowling once, and, uh, you know, it, it started, somebody threw a strike, and I literally told them, you know, that was the greatest strike I think I've ever seen. What a throw. All the pins went everywhere. It was incredible. What a great job. And they were like, whoa, that sounds like Trump. And I said, it does, right? And then I did it the rest of the night. They all hated me, but it was okay. And now we're here. So <laughs> now on the Benny report, I mean, come on, let's go. <laughs> so then you flipped your camera around and started posting online. Obviously, we encourage our audience to follow you, Captain Deplorable, but you just decided I'll make a character out of this. I decided, you know, someone told me go on TikTok. And I said, you know, I don't know about TikTok because, uh, you know, that's uh, China. But I went in, I did it, uh, and <laughs> it, it just it just picked up. It went crazy. I started reading like Dr. Seuss poems last year, and then the GPS went online in June, and it went wild. And Arby's, I went to Arby's a little while ago, a couple months ago. That's about to hit eight million views everywhere. It's everywhere. You know, it's, it, it's just a lot of fun. When I went down to CPAC, there were people all over. Oh my gosh, I, I saw you doing this or with this drive through or that. And to me, it's just good because you know I did one of the gas pump the other day. I think you might have shared it, and and and. Like, it's bringing awareness to the fact that the gas is too damn high and it's really terrible. But it's it's making people laugh at the same time. And I, I guess that's a good way to wake people up in this time because, you know, who wants to deal with negativity all the time? So if I could just do that and get people involved and aware on, on the problems, I'm happy. One more question about the impression. Did you practice? Was this easy or natural for you? Did you just watch a lot of Trump? Speeches well, I watch and, a lot of Trump. interviews? Yeah, I watch a lot of Trump. Yeah. I watch a lot of Trump, and, uh, you know, it helps it helps on that aspect. I practice, I guess. I just sometimes, you know, I'll catch myself doing it to myself. But honestly, now what gets us going is our website, CaptainDeplorable45.com. We do custom messages for everybody. So I see everybody's stories. And I got to tell you, it is the funniest. Some of these folks, they send me some funny stuff. It keeps me going. So when I'm reading about somebody, you know, his name is Scundy. <laughs> and he likes burgers, you know, or somebody who chops a lot of wood and built a wall in his backyard. It makes it so easy for me, and I connect with so many of these Americans. So, again, it's just a nice way to reach people and to kind of, I guess, soften the blow, because what's going on now is it truly, really is a disgrace. It's horrible. That's right. That's right. Uh, do you know if the president uh, has seen your impression? I absolutely do. Kelly Golden Show, South Carolina. She played it for him on the radio a couple weeks ago. Uh, the gas is too damn high. She played that video. And he actually said it was the best one he's ever heard. Um, and uh, he laughed. He was laughing a lot. When I said that the uh, the price of gas was higher than Jerry Nadler's pants, he laughed at that. thought that was funny. So, <laughs> um, uh, Yes, he said it was the best he's heard. And I went ballistic when I heard that. I'm so happy he appreciates it, knows I'm not trying to make fun of him. I'm a big supporter. Okay, can we do the rest of the interview as Trump? Can I ask For you sure. a few questions? All right, okay. Putin, Ukraine, Russia, President Trump, please, how do we fix it? Well, what we should be doing is uh, we have so many resources in our own backyard. You know, what's happening is a disgrace. We're talking to terrorists in Iran and communists in Venezuela. 
Well, we could be talking to hardworking, blue-collar Americans in Texas and uh, with the pipeline. You know, you talk about the pipeline. Energy independence would be the best way to do it because Vladimir Putin, you know, he's, uh, he's not a good guy. But we're sending the money for oil and we're sending money to Ukraine. You know, we need to send all of the money maybe to our border to help our own country. We should put America first, believe me. President Trump, uh, how would you uh, take on a Kamala Harris in 2024 if she ran against you? Well, uh, probably would do what the Clintons like to do. You know, it's called opposition research. So the first person I'm calling is either Montel Williams or Willie Brown. What do you know about her? What could you tell me? You know, because I know there's an extensive relationship they had. We'll call it that, a relationship. But uh, I'm not afraid of Kamala. You know, she didn't even get past the Iowa caucus. She was polling at around zero. Very low energy, not liked. So it'll be a walk in the park, believe me. Mr. President, we only have a minute left, but can you give a grade to Joe Biden? Well, sleepy Joe Biden is obviously year. failing. He's obviously failing. You know, he's failing like Dr. Anthony Fauci. He's failed his entire career. He's a failure. And uh, he's failing. He's doing an awful job. Gas is going through the roof. Inflation is going through the roof. And, uh, you know, he still doesn't have the China virus under control. It's unbelievable. So he's failing. Afghanistan was a disaster. Now the European theater is a disaster. Everything has been a disaster. So I would give him a D for disaster, but actually an F for failure. That's what we're going to say. <laughs> <laughs> really quickly here, Joe Biden has a Supreme Court nominee. You were able to get three good conservatives on the Supreme Court. Your thoughts on that piece of breaking news as she's in hearings right now? Well, I think we have to look at it very closely. You know, there's a lot of questions about the Second Amendment. There's a lot of questions about uh, her judicial record. And uh, when you look at it, you know, if you put these people under the same scrutiny, that they put my picks under, none of them would ever be confirmed. So we have to be very careful with the Supreme Court justice because we picked three fantastic justices when you look at it. Yeah, yeah. it's as good as a Trump interview. It's fantastic. Thank you, Sean. Thank you. Thank you so Thank much. You so I mean, much. it's it's, it, you're, it's a gift. It's a gift you give to all of us because when the president gets deleted off social media, we you know there's some of us out here that miss him, and so it's a yeah, I do. It's a uh, gift. <laughs> Yeah, and I don't think Trump. I don't think Trump will be joining TikTok anytime soon. I I, I, I highly doubt so. that. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Sean. Thank you so much. You bring joy to the to the entire internet. Thank you.